Hello everyone, and welcome back for our next episode of Subnautica Below Zero. Now, I know we got the story moving along, we got things that we need to go do, we still got blueprints we need to find, we got plants I need to grab, and places we gotta explore, but we're throwing all that out the window. You know why? I wanna build a base. I've been talking about it for a while, and apparently you guys would not mind at all watching me build one. In fact, if you got input for this epic base I plan to build, make sure you leave it in the comments, ideas, suggestions, I'm all for that stuff. If you could do me a huge favor, if you're excited to see what this base is gonna turn into, smack the like button, let's get right to it. Alrighty, folks, here we go. Man, those are looking good. You know what? I'm gonna grab a couple of these. So, as I said in the intro, it's time to build a base. I'm excited, and my plan is this. I'm not gonna tear anything down from the white pearl. We're leaving it all here. We're gonna build all new stuff over there. Uh, but I wanna build it on land, and possibly something where we go like from on land into the water, like it's all connected in some way. I don't know. I just know I've been wanting to build a big base for a while. And I don't want what to happen in the first one happen in this one, where I kind of started to build a big base there, but then we reached the end of the story and it started moving so fast, suddenly I was off the planet. And I don't know if that might happen here too. So we're gonna start to build our big base. And you know what? We did not get to listen to our new, our new song, what, Survive? Survive. Let's hear it. Ooh, I like it already. I like this, it's got like a... I feel like this is the kind of music that fits the atmosphere of Subnautica. Ooh, that sound good. Gotta turn down though. Don't wanna overpower it. Now, so what I did to save a little bit of time, I've already went through uh, all the lockers and I've cleared out like most of the resources and stuff and I've put them in the truck. Um, and that's basically it. Everything is still here. I haven't I haven't torn anything down. I grabbed some seeds from my, my plants outside. I've grabbed some from in here. Uh, now we just need to pick where. Oh, this song sounds great. I really like it. Okay, so I tried to do some thinking, you know, just off camera, I was like, okay, now where am I gonna build this base? I got a feeling this section over here is probably where I'm going to be spending a good chunk of time still. Like, we went out here to the greenhouse and I've, I've heard from you guys, there's a plant that I missed, I need to go back and get that. Uh, and I know that in the lily pad area, I've been told that there's some blueprints I've not finished scanning that would help me out. In fact, I think it was like the horsepower I think it was the horsepower stuff down for the the sea truck get me to move faster pretty sure you guys said that was down there in the uh the nests of the little grabby guys i can't think of at the moment but um aside from that i got a feeling there's a lot to explore here still underwater in that big cave we found this with the exception of the alien structure if that comes into play later i feel like we're probably done there so that's why I'm kind of thinking this area here is where we'll be spending a good chunk of time still. And I wanted to build a base that was somewhat central to that. Like if I built my base clear out here, anytime I progress the story, I gotta like go clear across this place. So in an effort to avoid that, I'm thinking something with these floating iceberg things right here. I think that'd be really cool. This I considered, but I, I kind of like my idea behind this you see how there's like gaps and stuff between these? I'm hoping that I can like build a base that like kind of like bridges across some of these. I think that would be super cool. I think I even made the comment when I was over here, how cool would it be to build a base that like connected all the icebergs? Well, these are a lot closer together, it looks like. So we're gonna try that. I think that's gonna be a fun area. And I'm pretty sure that this is kind of where my current base is. So we're just gonna start driving like Southwest until we encounter what look like floating icebergs. Just checked OBS there real quick. Had an issue with it the other day. Wanted to make sure I was not having an issue again. But yeah, so that's the plan. And we got our truck all set up. We got food. We got awesome music. My goodness, I really like that song. All this stuff staying. Uh, any water by any chance? Oh, no. I already grabbed the water bottles apparently. I'm gonna leave them here. I'm gonna leave that here. And I loaded up all the spaces I could. The sucker's packed to the brim. In fact, one thing I also did was the titanium. I turned a lot of it into ingots to take up less space. And I'm gonna build one of those 
I keep wanting to call them a decycler. I can't remember if it was a recycler or whatever, but it's up where we can just pull those back apart and it allowed me to fit a lot more in here. So that's the plan. Oh, I ran right past my entrance. I'm excited for this. I was so glad to hear you guys wanted to see me build. And you know, I got to thinking about it. The, um, you know, a game like Subnautica, the story is only part of what makes it a fun game. Oh, the prawn suit, we'll come back for that later. I I'm not gonna worry about it yet. I'm gonna wait till I have a moon pool and then we'll come back and get him. I know I could build a docking truck to take him with me on here, but I would have to grab the um, the mobile bay unit. I did grab the mobile bay unit to take to the new place, and I'd have to put that back out, construct it, attach it, all kinds of stuff. I was like, eh, we'll just come back get the bronze suit later. Um, but yeah, you know, the story is one aspect of Subnautica, but you know, I ran those polls and I asked if people wanted to see me craft the base or if they just wanted a tour of it at the end and everything. And, um, you know, it's it's the the story is only one piece of it. What makes Subnautica so great is the building and the creativity and the construction and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, man, you know what? It would kind of stink if I just kind of cut all that out and didn't let you guys be a part of that building process. So I'm glad you guys are cool with it because uh, this will be more fun. Now my plan is, this is probably gonna take a few episodes, at least two. Uh, if it doesn't take three or four, I'll be impressed. But my plan is to just have fun, keep building, keep adding to it. And once I've reached a point where I'm like, yep, this base is pretty awesome, then we'll move forward with the story some more. <laughs> it sounds kind of weird, I know. It's like, who plays a video game and then says, all right, we're going to put the story on hold. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that almost seems wrong to me. Now, I don't think, I felt like the icebergs that we were seeing on the map, like I want to get all the way over to where I'm starting to see what looks like solid land. Because when we look at this, See, these are floating out here, but then there's just solid land right here. And I know I have not been to whatever this is yet. So my plan is to build here, but I want to make sure that I'm not in just like some random area. I want to make sure I'm like kind of in like in this area before I start building. So we're going to keep going until we start seeing what look like something that represents more like what I was expecting to see there. Plus, we're still kind of close to where uh, my other base was. I want to keep going. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm super excited. I've gathered a bunch of resources. I, I basically packed this thing as far as I could. Almost packed myself too, until I realized I was like, wait a minute, I gotta have room in my inventory to pull things out so that I can go build. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna be in trouble. So, uh, I did not fill up my inventory completely. Oh my goodness, look at this. Looks like a different terrain already. I like this. I want to be somewhere where it looks and feels completely different from where I was at. And this is already giving me that vibe. It's going to be weird building on the surface. I'm wondering, are... Like, I don't know if uh, structural integrity is an issue. I almost feel like it wouldn't be since I'm on a on a surface i feel like that's an underwater attribute Ooh, this looks probably wow look at all these guys yo guys yeah you do oh is it because the ice storm up going on up there they came down here so i don't think that's an attribute i'm gonna have to worry about but we will see as we start building yo this area looks awesome now I need a spot where i can actually climb up onto whoa onto the land. I don't know if I can do that right there. Uh, let's go back this way some. Wow, my character moves so slow in this thing. Yeah, see, those are just real tiny pieces. I want a big iceberg. Like, the, oh, this looks promising. We got a nice low spot right here. Plenty of spot to park the truck. Oh, let's take a look. 
I think we might have a winner here. Oh, yes. Yes, this is what I wanted. Let's take a look. Look how big this iceberg is. This is beautiful. I like it. I want to use lots of windows and stuff. Ooh, yes. Um, I don't recognize those mushrooms or anything. I don't know if I've been a part of any of that. Oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what I was, because I want to be able to build like, I'll start here and we'll build across, maybe onto that one. Maybe we'll build across, we'll connect. We'll just connect as many of these things as we can through the process. I think that'd be so fun. And then somewhere, somehow, I'd like to connect it to where you actually get into the water again. And part of the base is underwater. I know there's vertical tubes. I don't know how those work. I don't know how you connect them. Like if you can just stick them in the floor of another building or something. I, I don't know how that works, but we'll figure that out as we get there. We're starting out on land though. Oh, this is great. That truck looks good too. All right. Let's get stuff. We're going to start out with a big room. That's where I want to start. And we're going to build off of that. So let's see here. Now, I might put a glass dome on it at some point, but we're starting out with this. And I'm going to need you. Um, that'll get me in. So two plasteel ingots, quartz, and a titanium. Okay. Uh, and let's turn that song back on. That was awesome. Can I turn? Yeah, although I won't be able to hear it once I get out there. But still, each time we hop in the truck, we can hear it. Okay. Uh, I was thinking I had a couple of those made up already. Let's check. Mm, aha, here we go. Two of those. Uh, titanium quartz. Perfect. Yo, I got ice falling inside my, uh, inside my vehicle. Uh, is there anything else? I got lots of room still. Um, I want to use a nuclear power plant here. Okay, advanced wiring kit. I'm going to need another plastic ingot and three lead. See, I had one more over here somewhere. Okay, uh, I've got. Oh, sweet! I got an advanced kit on me, and I need three lead. Beautiful. There. Now we can get power. I don't want them. So in the first one, I remember the nuclear reactor generated like a hum. It's a constant hum anytime you got near it. So I want to put it in a room of its own, which we will just use an all-purpose room, which I think is six titanium. I grabbed four. Uh, none there. Ooh, nice. That should give me six. So one. I need one for this and six. So one, two, five, six, seven. Perfect. Uh, oh, and I should have a nuclear rod already. I think I grabbed one. Somewhere in here. Bingo. Let's see if we can build this puppy. Put some power to it right away. Oh, this is so exciting. Finally doing it. I've been like debating. Like all last week, I was like, oh, should I start building the base? Should I start building the base? And uh, the other day, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I don't want to accidentally finish the game before I've had a chance to have fun building an awesome base. So let's just do it. You know, it's tempting to build over there. It looks really cool. Although at the same time, building here might be better because then I have a view. Go check that out. That looks amazing. Okay, let's see here. Large room. I want to make sure... Let's see, if I put the... If I put it facing that way, do I have open spot Dangerous to climb? Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Um. Oh boy, she wasn't kidding. Let's go. Let's face this way. Okay. 
Oh my goodness. That is really bad. Uh, let's put a hatch on here. Yo, it gets steps and everything. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it. It's just a big room with a door right now, and I love it. Emergency power only. Oxygen production <laughs> offline. That's okay. I can breathe just fine. Now, I haven't tried building a room from inside of a room. I've always done it from the outside, because I assume that's how you had to do it. Oh, look at this. Put, like, a room within a room. Can you... Oh, wait a minute. There was something that showed, like, a tube there for a second. Let's see here. Hmm. I see a flash of green every once in a while. Let's see if I can go straight out the, the side. Yes. How amazing is that? Oh, that's amazing. Now I don't even have to wonder if it's like gonna fit or gonna work. I can just walk up to the wall and if it will, it'll show me. Okay, now let's get our power supply going, which is the nuclear. Let's see, which way? Yeah, yeah, face it this way. Oh, yes. Where's that rod? <laughs> Power restored. Oh, it's purring like a kitten. It's purring like a kitten, baby. Check it out. <laughs> oh, that's super awesome. Man, this thing seems... I feel like this is already, like, bigger than my other base just because this room is so massive. I wonder if I could build, like, a whole nother... I mean, I know I don't have the resources on me, but will it let me... I could just build another one straight out that way. Oh my goodness. That's pretty wild. Okay, um, we got power. Uh, I want to get a fabricator in here so that I can do building in here. Okay, we'll pull these off. So we'll grab that stuff. Uh, let's get a jukebox going here so we got some tunes. Uh, speaker, yeah. <laughs> Hello? Um, I gotta try to be careful not to get too carried away with the lockers right off the bat. Oh, look, I didn't realize I got a blueprint for an actual snowman. I remember scanning it. I didn't realize it gave me a blueprint for it. That's fun. We'll stick a, we'll stick a snowman out there somewhere. Uh, I would definitely like to get a water filtration system set up in here. Pronto. Uh, what else should we build? Oh, and some, some windows. Yeah, I want to put windows right along there. Okay. Let's head back for our next load. Oh, it's dark time. In fact, we might even grab a quick nap just to get it to daytime again. Oh, you can hear it humming out here. Check that out. That looks so awesome. I want to see it during the day when I can actually see it well. Okay. One thing you guys might give me a... Oh, let's turn that down. That's the loud song to begin with. There we go. And where's Bet? We're going to sleep to nothing's going to get in my way. That's right, because we're going to build. Build something epic. Uh, oh, what I might need some help on... Because, um, well, let me let me finish that thought before I go start getting stuff and get all distracted. So, like, see how this is really high on this side? I don't know how I. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. <laughs> all right, Gladys. I I don't know how I would like create stair steps or something up to be able to access that. I don't know if I try to put a hatch there if it builds stairs all the way down like it did over there. If there's a trick to that, and I don't figure it out through the course of the next episode or two, if you could let me know some tricks for that, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Oh, we need a, a de-cycler thing. Because I got all this 
I got all these ingots, and if I can't separate them, I'm going to run out of titanium real fast. Uh, this right here. So let's grab that first. Thankfully, it uses an ingot and an ion cube. Okay, that takes care of that. Um, let's get some quartz so we can get some windows going. I'm sure I've got more. There's, there's two... Hmm. I thought I had more than that. I, I, these lockers are a complete mess. Don't judge me. I was trying to be quick and efficient and just get it all in here. I figured I'd sort it out once I got it over here. Yep, I got a bunch of plant stuff. Uh, more plant stuff. What do we got in here? That's a. There's my scanner. I'm going to try not to touch anything on the scanner. Uh, here's a quartz. This I will throw out at some point. I'm not going to do it yet because I don't know exactly where I want to put it. Um, let's grab the two. No, no, no. Let's not do posters yet because I want to create what looks like an actual like bedroom or a reading room or something. And those will probably go in there. Okay. Well, I got a couple cords. I really thought I had more in here somewhere. That's a little disappointing. Okay, so uh, we'll make what glass we can. Um, fabricator. Oh, I'm going to need two quartz for that. Okay, so I might have to hold off on windows for the moment. Two titanium and copper. Let's see. Grab a couple of those. Okay, there's the copper. Now we can make that. Uh, this is a quartz and two titanium. That might be the other... Uh, that might be the other quartz right there. Mm, I do have an aerogel and I need a copper wire. I think I have both of those in here already somewhere. Any of you guys are doing that whole drinking game where you have to take a drink every time I pop up in one of these? Brace yourself. There's going to be a lot of it in this one. <laughs> I had somebody comment that in my uh, Subnautica playthrough. They said, man... <laughs> You have to take a drink every time this guy opened and closed the PDA. You'd be wasted in no time. I thought that was so funny. I'm like, yeah. Especially with that first base because it was just so unorganized. Okay, I'm going to grab a handful of these. We're going to uncycle those things and then build some lockers and that sort of thing. So, oop. Okay, and then this was going to be used for something. I don't remember what it was, but I'll grab it since I've got room. Okay, let the construction begin. We will definitely be adding more rooms and all that stuff. I definitely want to get... It kind of bugs me that I don't have more quartz, because I really wanted to get some windows on this thing, like ASAP. Yo, that is so cool looking. Seek fluid intake. I don't know if those are something I've scanned yet or not. Vital signs stabilizing. Thank you. Okay. Let's get some stuff going. First, we're going to get the fabricator Welcome around on here. Captain. Now, I might actually, at some point, create like a crafting room like I've got at the other base. But for now, I want to have at least one of these right by the door. So I can come in, craft something real quick, and then blast right off if I need to. You guys know how that goes. Okay, so we will take you off there now. Uh, this thing... Yeah, I should probably craft this right here too since uh, I'm going to be undoing a lot of this um, titanium. Thank you. Look at that. Is that a smart move or what? Oops. I'm proud of that move right there. Okay, um, let's start, I kind of feel like the first thing I want to do is just get all my stuff in here, but, let's see, to create a, a large room was, was what, was it one or two of those plastic ingot ones? I kind of want to build another big room. Although the all-purpose room actually worked really well. I started running out of wall space. Yeah, it needs two of these, which means I need more lithium. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe we work with that 
Let's get another large room. Let's build out that way. I really want to see what that looks like. I just gotta hope I got enough lithium. I figure worst case scenario, that that scanner setup that I carry around in the train, I can set that up down here for now, just to make it easier to go find things. That's kind of my backup plan on that. Okay, let's see if we can pull out. I know I had some more ingots. There's, okay. Um. Oh man, I could have built. That would have been helpful. Okay, we only need two of these. Let's see if I've even got enough lithium. I'm gonna need, I think it's two lithium per. Is that right? Yeah, two lithium per ingot. And I don't think I saw any. I got lots of ingots. I ain't got no lithium. These are all plant things over here. Okay, we might have our first. <laughs> Look at this. That's the one that I took the time to label. I might, uh, we might have to go out looking for our first thing already. Okay. Oh, I got one lithium. All right. Well, let's go use up some of this stuff. Since, um, you know what? I need some food. Okay, let's grab a couple peepers. Uh, just to free up some space. We're going to build a couple things over here real quick. And then we're going to set up that scanner down below in the water down here go out and find us some lithium and then that way we can construct the actual like look how cool that's gonna look if it's like connected across here i think that's gonna be amazing i hope it's gonna be as cool as i think it is if it turns out to be kind of lame I'll, i'm gonna be a little bummed about that okay uh water filtration system we can get that going some of this stuff i might put it up and then we'll find a better home for it as we progress. For now though, it's kind of like all just going along this one wall. Okay, that gets that going so I can start having some water coming in. This is done. Jukebox. Important baby. Priorities. We need us some tunes. Otherwise we might not know nothing's gonna get in our way. Is that the new one? It is the new one. We're starting with that for sure. Okay. Uh, I've got stuff for a couple lockers. Let's just stick a couple of these on the wall. Just so we got some storage space here. We'll probably tear these down and move them to a different location at some point. Okay. Um... What's it take to start growing something? Again, I want to have like an actual greenhouse or a plant room or something dedicated for that. But just so we can get something started. Okay, I thought it was as simple as that. Uh, we got a little space right here. Just so we can get some plants growing. I think I had somebody tell me that once you got a hold of these things right here, you can pretty much make it forever on those <laughs> doesn't require much work to, they, they keep all your stats pretty nice and full my goodness we're almost halfway through the hour already I have accomplished a lot I think kind of pre-packing the truck was actually a smart move it's not like you guys missed out on much of anything there anyways I think you guys are okay with that now if I build put those in there I could build the scanner connected to this thing, but I don't know. Does the scanner above land really do a... Nah, I'm going to stick it below. Ooh. I wonder if we'll get some of those northern light effects that we saw at this location. That would be super awesome. Another reason why I want to make sure I have lots of windows. Lots of... It almost looks like Dangerous a volcano. Weather approaching. It could shelter. erupt or something. Alright. Move right along. Alright. Now, for something a little more familiar, we'll grab all our scanner goodies here. 
all of these things here and everything from up here. I do love the fact that I can carry it all. Do I still have water on me? No, I'll grab an extra one of those keep on me. Okay, now, now it's nighttime. I'm gonna go down, just try to find a nice open area. Ooh, look at those jellies. That is wild looking. Wow, we got lots of creep vines and seeds and stuff here. Got plenty to work with there. Wow, those things are so awesome looking. Okay, um... I mean, here seems as good as any. I just need to make sure I got plenty of room. Oop. Yep, let's just go right here. So, we need our multi-purpose room first. I'm gonna try to build that scanner right out the side of it from the inside. I wanna see if that works with like, I would assume that works with like all room type things. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen oh, yeah. production offline. If I walk up, maybe I'll rotate it. Scanner? Anything? No? Okay. Maybe not. Alright, we'll go on the outside and do that. Uh, first, let's get the power source. This one. Make sure I build the right one. When I step outside to add that scanner, I'll grab something thrown there. I wish I'd be in a better habit of grabbing fish from my vehicle. Okay, and let's see if we can get our scanner on here. Mm, there it is. Oh, come on. Come on. You know you want to attach somehow. There we go. It's possible I just didn't line up with the right wall from the inside, so that may still work. But it also might have just been a user error. Uh, anything small to grab? Oh, here we go. I tell you what, the peepers are quick in this one. They get away from you. Look at that. He's already taken off. He's like, you can't catch me. It's like, they know. They're not in the bottom of the food train here. Oh, I snuck up on that one. He didn't even see me coming. Quartz. Yes. Windows, baby. I want some. I don't want this place to feel like it's, uh some secluded box. I want to have lots of... Oh, man, there's a ton of it here. This is fantastic. Well, that's at least three windows right there. Awesome. I'm almost out of air. Oh, look, prawn suit. We could drill into that. I am looking forward to being able to do that. Uh, oh, wrong spot. Oh, and there's something real big right there, too. I should probably put a beacon down. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I literally like just converted these peepers into H2O. Power or well, restored. H2. All or O2. O2. There we go. <laughs> oxygen. I was trying to sound fancy and stuff and I just sound like a moron. Okay. Um, Let's get our range mods in here. There we go. And then we want, um, I can never remember. I think it's the top one that I see there, but let's double check it. We want, not lead, silver, gold. Oh, no, lithium. It's a standalone thing. I don't need that for that. Any lithium in the area? Ping, pingling research? No, I'm not going to let myself get distracted. We're staying focused. At least the first episode, right? Now, if I get distracted on the second one, the third and fourth and so on and so forth, then so be it. But the first one? No. Okay. 
save the game there real quick. Just thought of that. I was like, I don't want to lose everything I've just done. All right, let's start driving around. Let's find us some lithium. We need to find at least four. Oh, wow. Is that the only one showing up? Surely there's more in the area. I need four so I can make two more plastic ingots. And uh, that way we can make our our base monstrously big already. And uh, any quartz I see, I'm probably going to grab a couple more of those too. All right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. My goodness. Yeah, we getting some windows. We getting some windows in that puppy. Oh. Is that egg? It is egg. Oh. No, I can get eggs on another run. Sometimes those take up a lot of room. I don't want to chance it. Uh, there we go. It's like, wait a second. I'm totally lost. All right, there's one. What you got? Oh, titanium. Thank you. If you could find me some lithium, though, I'd really appreciate that. Wow, is there no other lithium showing up? Or did the battery run out already? I'm almost positive it makes a sound. Oh, I did not put a... I didn't put a beacon down by that thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. New priority. Refine the scanner. <laughs> Before it is lost forever. Okay, there's the jellies. I know I'm somewhere near jellies. Um... Daylight out. I feel like it should be fairly easy to to spot it. Okay, where's my truck? That would at least help me orient myself because I kind of went straight down, didn't I? I was on this little ledge right here. Oh, another lithium finally. It means it does still have power. See, so oh, there it is. I don't want to keep getting lost trying to find my scanner. And, you know, in the first one, you'd have a couple cameras pop up with the scanner. This one, it looks like you have to kind of to pay for those yourself. Okay, drop you. And we're going to name you Scanner. Perfect. Okay, it does still have power. Yep, it's still good for a little bit longer. I'm surprised it's having a hard time finding lithium. I, I just figured we'd find a lot more of it over here. Okay. Well, we'll get in the area of that lithium. Oh, there's another. I'm going to go have to craft my windows here soon just because I'm going to have too much quartz on me. Okay. Looks like I got to go down under here. Hopefully there's going to be more once we get into the area. Oh yeah, thank you. Now, try not to get lost. Looks like nothing to scan here. Okay, apparently this is not. It goes down, but it doesn't connect. Let's go up and over this thing. Oh yeah, I was way off. It doesn't give you a distance. What is that? Oh, distractions. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember seeing this before. It's like a big giant broken cable. I know. I know I'm distracted. I won't let it last long, I promise. Lots of quartz. Yo, what is this connected to? It looks like some big old, like, robotic spider arm. Oh my goodness. Where is this going? Robin? We're supposed to be staying focused. This is not focused. This is what we call being distracted. Yo! goes on a long ways 
Okay. Oh my goodness. Is it gonna connect to something? Or is it just broken on both ends? <sighs> so much for not getting distracted this episode. <laughs> Admit it. Admit it, you guys knew it wasn't gonna happen. You're like, he's totally not gonna stick to it. He'll be distracted before this is over, guarantee it. Oh, what do we got here? What is this? Can I break that? Oh. Well, I feel like. Ooh, what we got here? What's this? Copper. I like how they just kind of shove those in the crack sometimes. Let's check on top. This must leave. I wonder if that one symbol that I haven't been to yet. I wonder if it's somehow associated with this over here. <sighs> I'm leaving. I'm not gonna... No, I'm not leaving. What's this? <laughs> oh, man, I was doing so good. Well, I made it... I made it 40 minutes into the video before I got totally distracted, right? What in the world? Oh, first aid kit, thank you. Ooh, PDA. Here we go. Zeta, I have kind of a funny question for you. Have you picked up any kind of unusual interference during any of your robotics work? You mean like Parvin looking over my shoulder and telling me I'm assembling my circuits wrong because it's not how his dad did it back in the day? <laughs> no. Like electrical interference in the audio or video. Any kind of flickering or clicking. Huh, can't say that I have. Why? Oh, so it doesn't extend as far as the bay. What doesn't? When Fred was bringing me for my eval, we detected something. Almost like an SOS. At Delta? How retro. What was causing it? I think architects are trying to communicate with us. You always think that. Look, it may be my job to always think that, but I'm very good at my job. Not that HR seems to care. I won't breathe a word of this to Emmanuel. Thanks. <laughs> You're a good friend. I like Lillian. I think she's a great person. I, I, I really like her personality and stuff. Okay, well, I guess we don't really do anything like that. But clearly, there's more here. I'm refusing to give in. I'm grabbing the goodies, and I'm leaving. I'm going to go get my little lithium. <laughs> there you go. You guys got your little bit of story for this episode. That's all that's happening. Nothing else. But I think that's my plan. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, look, it's actually really close to my scanner. That's nice to know. Well, man, I, I thought uh, we'd find a lot more lithium. I'm going to have like two pieces. I need four. I could drive out further, but that basically means that I got to go at least 500 meters because my scanner's not reaching anymore and I think that's the range on it right now isn't it with those modules in there doesn't it get 500 meters I was thinking that's what it was Ooh, can we go underneath here oh nope that's the one I did last time not falling for it again no way all right there's the little cable that caused the distraction all right we're we're back on course I'm kind of hoping that this is like part of a big underground ravine and that we can keep swimming the ravine and see more lith oh I gotta go down deeper still okay get some air thank you yeah we found the architect that was trying to communicate she's right they were if only she knew they were gonna jump into their head she might not have been as anxious to try to find that Oh my goodness, I gotta go down even deeper. Okay, well I guess I should count my blessings that it's even found this one. Look how far away that is. Let's get some more air. I think I do recognize this area. I've definitely been here before. Oh, there's something over there wanted to grab me. I went the opposite way. I don't think it's following me still, is it? No. Okay. 
Well, we can bring out our little detector. Wow, look how far away this was. I might already be 500 meters away at this point. Yeah, baby. Thank you. All right. Let's, uh... There's a lead. We are looking for lithium. Yep, I've definitely been in this area. There are remnants of previous... Oh, there's the arm thing. No! Look, I'm on the other side of that thing. You should not be able to grab me. All right, you better let go. Or the, there it is. This is where I was going. I'm gonna try not to panic. So that hopefully I can get some more lithium and then not die trying to get out of here. Music just doesn't even sound very friendly here, does it? How crazy would it be if I actually found that? This is one I'm thinking I've found before. I don't think this is going to pop up as anything new. Okay, go a little further through here. If this is where I think it is, we should have some crash fish popping up here soon. Anything? Nope. Man, I'm going a long time without finding air. I'm getting nervous. Okay, let's get some oxygen. Thank you. Come on. Come on, I need two pieces. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, oh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, let's get another one. Let's make it happen, baby. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I see you over there squiggling. Try and get me to come close so you can grab me. Okay. Now. See, where is Q59? Okay, it's that way. I was like, if I'm close, I'll see if I can find it. Not because I'm distracted, but only because you guys know I. I spent like five episodes trying to find that one. <laughs> okay. Well, that was that was a bit of work, but we got what we need to make the next step in the base. If it, if it's gonna be epic, it's gonna take time, right? I gotta, I just gotta brace myself for that and the fact that it's gonna take some work to get that. And I'm being chased. It's titanium. There's a copper. You know, I did pretty good about keeping up on my um, my oxygen through that whole run, too. Oh, another quartz. Oh, here we go. Where's my... Where's my truck? I don't have any kind of a beacon near my... my new base yet, but I do have my truck parked there. Look at that, 501. 501. We were just outside the range of where the lithium was going to be for my scanner. I might, let's see, this is kind of west. I might move that a little further this way if we end up in a situation where we do me, need more lithium. Uh, just so it, it's easier, you know. Obviously, that thing's going to find the stuff way easier than my little handheld thing. But it helped me out. It got the job done. Okay. What is, oh, that's that cable. I'm trying really hard not to get distracted. We're at 50 minutes. We got power. We're going to put some windows in there. We're going to get... Um, let's get... Uh, the other building added to this. And maybe... Start setting up, like, a construction room. Like a building room. You know, get lockers on the wall. Label them, that sort of thing. So we can start stocking it. Because I'm going to need a lot of stuff. Now, I'm assuming that hail doesn't damage my truck. I know it's technically sticking up a little bit. I'm assuming that's not an issue. Oh, man. I do enjoy listening to that. There's some light. Welcome.
Welcome aboard, mm. Captain. Okay. First things first, if I got enough. Oh, not that. Oh, no, I don't. Um, I did ditch all the ingots. Did I store any over here? Oh, two, baby. That's all I needed. That is all I needed. Whoo! I tell you what. I knew the episode was going to go by quick. But I'm pretty proud of what we accomplished in this period. I think if I would have included stocking the truck, we probably wouldn't feel like we had accomplished near as much. But since I'd kind of like pre-done that, I think that really helped us out. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's monstrous. <laughs> oh. Now where to put my windows? Okay. I definitely want some out the front here. Uh, where's it? Right here. Beautiful. How many will it let me put? Uh, oh, I thought I had a bunch of... Oh, I don't have it in glass yet. Yeah, I got lots of quartz. Quartz won't do anything unless I turn it into glass first. We're going to make as many of these as we can. Oh, we got stuff needed to make our speakers now, too. We might go line both buildings with speakers, so we got epic sound no matter where we're at. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, there we go. Here we are. I do like the fact that I don't have to worry about uh, durability or anything. Check it out. Oh, that looks so good. That look good. Yo, something just flew through here. Um, okay, we're gonna stick one over here. We will probably end up building out this direction at some point. Oh, that looks so cool. And how about we stick, do I got enough to do one more? Yeah, let's do one back here. This is just so I can like see. Use up the last of these. Okay. Uh, there we go. These windows might not stay. Although, I don't know. If I take those down, do I lose? I didn't even think about that. I think I lose that glass, don't I? I don't think I get it back. Maybe that's the case. I'm not entirely sure. Got some, got some water? No? No water yet? Are you even working? Hmm. Am I doing something wrong here? Doesn't it normally show like a percentage as it's manufacturing water? Maybe not. Okay, well these are at 94%, so we know those are working. Um, speakers. That's what we're going to do. Let's get one of these. Although in here, it's probably almost not even necessary with the big Hummer thing. Yeah, let's not worry about putting one here. So let's stick one here. You can hear it so good. See, I got enough to make. Oh, I need some more titanium. We can make two more. Let's get one on both ends of here. I like that you can even like stick them in a corner. <laughs> Look, I'm just far enough away. To where the regular music can kick in until I get that speaker put in there. Okay. Ah, we got it. There it is. It's the good one too. Let's rock out. Yo, check that out. That is amazing. My goodness. I could just listen to that. That sounds so good. Oh, it makes me happy to see we're gonna have like some really neat sun sunrises, sunsets, that sort of thing. We're definitely gonna see all the different weather elements too. That's amazing. Okay, we got a little bit of time left. Let's see what else we can whip into this thing before we 
Oh, I was going to start building some lockers, which means I need to go get a bunch of titanium. And I think... Yeah, that's not titanium. These are all empty, I think. Um, we'll just store these just to free up some space. Is this thing... I'm really nervous about that. I wonder if I got it in a, in a bad spot or something? I don't know why that thing hasn't produced salt or water yet. We might have to move that. Maybe something's not quite right there. Okay, or maybe you're only allowed to have one? And the fact that I got one in my other base? I don't know if that's a thing. Okay. Ooh, I do got some more glass in here. All right, let's grab anything titanium. Ingots. Uh, we'll leave all you. Yep, grab that. Because we're going to need a whole bunch of lockers. Uh, what's needed to build the little dividing walls, too? We might... That new room we just made, maybe we put a divider down half of it. And we turn half of it into like a, like a bedroom or something. See, this just takes... Titanium. Oh, with a window? A door. Okay, so I'll need a quartz for that. Do I have any more quartz? I might have used it all. I got a little window happy. I guess I, the, the glass that I got here, I could uncycle those. Oh, there were some... Grab those. Mm, that's enamel glass. I'll go ahead and keep that. I got a feeling there might be something I end up needing with that. Let's do that. These right here. We'll just uncycle those things. That'll give us a few quarts to work with. Uh, whoop, wrong way. No, I did. Did I? Oh, I went the right way. I couldn't see it because of the blizzard. I haven't seen this from the outside yet. Check it out. Oh yeah, I could easily put another uh, entry exit point on that side. Emergency power only. Oh, that's probably talking about the scanner. I was like, there's no way this thing's out of power yet. No, it's still humming. It's humming nicely. Okay, uh, let's get this. Cycle, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad that worked. Okay, and then I think I got room to do one more of these. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, first, let's see about building walls. Let's see, I'd like to do it where... Like, maybe the windows separate into being the, the part of my room. Is this gonna be big? oh yeah that'd be big enough to especially if i put a, a little wall down the center of it for more yeah i think this is gonna work let's put a um let's put the one with the door oh maybe that has to be in specific places just go on hmm okay now how somebody told me you can close these. Oh, maybe that's it. There it is. <laughs> oh no, that one didn't do it, right? No. Let's take you apart. Let's try again. There it is. <laughs> now how do I put a door there? Oh. oh, it's an automatic slide door? Yes. Yes, this is totally going to be... Do I guess I got... Mm. I'm going to hold up. I'm going to resist the urge to do more windows. Okay, so this is going to be a room where we set up for, like, the bedroom. It's going to be massive. That'll be maybe something we tackle on the next one. But this one here should be great for... Um, Hold on, there it is. For making it like our construction room. And I'm gonna add this wall 
just for extra. Oop. Uh, you know what? I think I like it being open right there. So I can build more here, build some here, and I can easily, you know, I don't have to run back to the center. But since this is a smaller piece, yeah, we'll do it like that. Yeah, baby. Hmm. Okay, now, time to build Locker City. Although I don't know how much I got left in here I can build with. Uh, let's see how many we fit on here. I'm hoping three. One. Oh, need more titanium. All those times I was complaining about having so much titanium. And it's finally paying off. Oop. I keep thinking I gotta click it. There we are, and I got enough to do one more. Yes. There we go. Now my plan is to have everything labeled and all that kind of stuff like I did before. Now, we'll see how many we fit on here. It'll, it'll probably determine if I try to fill in that wall or not. If we can do four, I think we're good. Oh yeah, we can do four easy. Oh yeah. I'm glad these don't have like doors you have to actually accommodate for swinging open. That would make it a little more tricky. At least to put as many as I'm planning on doing. Oh yeah, it's gonna be be like the project room. Let's go ahead and move this and stick it in there. I thought I was gonna leave one out here either way, but this is still close enough to the front door. I don't think that's gonna be necessary. Now I am gonna need an advanced an advanced uh, fabricator, which I might put that right there. I like having them close together. All right, uh, we're gonna leave, the, let's check it again. Look at that, it's still empty. Did it not finish? Maybe it doesn't like where it's located. Let's try. Hmm. I don't even know if there's another spot I could put it because I think it needs to be up against one of these little black things, doesn't it? Is there room to put it in here with this thing? Maybe I can put it in here. Um, I kind of liked it out there because it would be a lot more, you know, I'd remember it a lot more, I think. You know, to grab it, the water and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That that may not end up staying, but okay. We'll see. If that's still not producing, we'll have to figure something else out. All right, so let's tear this down. Do we got, oh, look at this. We got stuff growing. We're gonna move these. Seek fluid intake. Uh, must be deconstructed for, oh, is it not? It's not empty, is it? That's right. There we go. And we'll go ahead and move these in here for now. I, I'm not going to worry about labeling everything in this episode. That will be a project for the next, which we will do like as we bring stuff in. That's the easiest way to make sure I got a locker for each resource. Oh yeah, this is coming together. Oh, one thing I was kind of curious about, is there a way to, um, remove a disc I know someone's gonna hate me for doing this but I'm doing it <laughs> vital signs stabilizing I did it I'm sorry I couldn't resist um, but yeah now that I got a couple that I really like I kind of want to take out the ones that I'm not a big fan of but I don't know if like once they're in there they're in there that's what I, I don't know do I see anything on here where I can like eject something uh, I don't see anything like that. I assume once you find it, it's just a part of your, your queue, whether you want it to be or not. That's all right. I can always 
skip the song if I if it's bugging me that much. But it would be cool if I could keep just my favorites in there. Oh yeah. This is starting to feel like home already. I got so much to make. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna put one right there. We'll leave a little gap. Once we run out of titanium on this, that's where we're gonna wrap up this episode. Oh, there it is. 50% of the way. Well, everybody, this is our start. I still got lots of stuff I wanna do. One, I wanna add like a moon pool to this thing somehow. I wanna create like a greenhouse of my own. We gotta deck out the bedroom. I'd love to make even like a, I don't know if you call it a kitchen, but some kind of a, like a, what looks like a dining area. I love the fact that we get to see these guys all hopping around out here. But there it is. We have started on the base. Lots to do. Again, if you got suggestions for things that you think it would be cool to add to it or things that uh, would be fun to try, feel free to let me leave me those in the comments. I'm not necessarily worried about spoilers and stuff when you're like, hey, you can do this with your base. I'm cool with you guys just kind of let me know of some things that you've seen. And uh, there it is. And I'll need to come up with a name for this thing at some point too. Okay, well, until next time, you all continue to be safe out there. I'll see you on the next one.